Hello, are you new to gardening? Do you not have a lot to work with? Are you growing in buckets? Are you growing at home? Are you trying to grow some vegetables? Well, I've been doing that for a number of years now, herded homegrown veg in the United Kingdom. And we're halfway through the growing season as it stands. We're going to go outside uh, shortly and I'm going to show you the progress that the vegetables have made so far this season. So far this season we haven't got anything across the finish line yet. But in previous growing seasons I've got lots of stuff across the finish line. I'm going to show you both. We're going to go out and look at where we are today and then I'll tag on to that some screenshots of uh, reveals that I've done in previous years and if nothing else that will actually prove to you that it is possible to grow those vegetables. So what vegetables are we talking about? Well we're talking about beetroot, carrots, celery, yeah I've grown all those in buckets before Potatoes, we're growing potatoes in buckets. We're growing onions in buckets. We're growing leeks in buckets. And we're also growing, or trying to grow, swedes, rutabaga in buckets. I'm not too sure I've actually pulled that off as yet, but we're giving it a go again this year. We're growing spring onions in buckets. And I'm trying to grow tomatoes in buckets outdoors. I've never done that before. I've grown tomatoes indoors in my small greenhouse in buckets, but never outdoors in buckets. So we're giving that a go as well. Okay, let's go outside and have a look at how those veggies are coming on this year. These are my beetroot growing in a bucket. I'm reasonably confident that I can get these across the line. Four heads of celery growing in a bucket. Still a long way to go with this celery. It is a big thirsty plant. I'll need to keep on top of this. But yeah, celery is looking good so far. These are my carrots growing in a bucket. Or should I say, these are my carrots not growing in a bucket. I have no confidence in these at all. Something's gone wrong this year with the carrots. This is one of my many buckets of potatoes. It's not looking too bad. I'm not too sure if this potato's actually flowered yet. I know most of my potatoes in buckets have flowered. Um, I'm not too sure about this particular one. But yeah, it's got a, a nice bit of top growth on it there. We don't eat the top growth, do we? We eat what's in the bucket. So I wouldn't like to predict what we're going to get out of this one. But we'll find out, won't we, later on in the year. These are my onions. Four onions growing in this bucket. Started from seed. I think they're Elsa Craig. Uh, it's quite a big onion, is an Elsa Craig, so... If we get these four across the finish line, that bucket will be a bucket full of onions. Four Swedes in this bucket. You might uh, know them better as rutabaga. Uh, I've had my ups and downs with these over the years. I've grown them successfully in the raised bed, but not in buckets. Uh, but they're looking quite healthy. There's, there's no pestilence attacking them at the moment. At least there doesn't seem to be. I can't see any. That's, that's a worry with these. Yeah, we might get these four across the finish line. These are my leeks. I'm not sure how many there are in this bucket. Looks like nine or ten to me. Um, and they're looking quite healthy. Fingers crossed none of those bolt and we get them all across the finish line. They won't be the biggest leak in the world. 
but there's lots of them for a small 10 inch bucket, isn't there? These are some spring onions, also known as bunching onions or green onions. I could be taking these now, but I'd like them just to be a little bit bigger. Uh, and, and these seem as though they're doing okay for me. This would be a first for me. Not growing tomatoes. I've grown lots of tomatoes in my small 6x8 greenhouse. But I've never actually grown them outdoors. I've grown them in buckets in the greenhouse, but I've never grown them outdoors. So this would be a first for me. This plant looks quite healthy. Lots of flowers on it. I think it might be Roma. If it's not Roma, it's Heinz 1350, and they're both um, determinate tomatoes, and so we grow them as a bush. But I've said, as I've said, this is a first for me. Hey, fingers crossed with this one. The biggest danger to these plants outdoors now is the wind. It's been quite windy lately, so I'm, I'm always looking for shelter. Okay. So as you can see, some seem to be doing better than others. I think I might get some beta across the finish line, I'm not too sure about carrots. Celery is looking okay, potatoes looking okay. You, you saw how I'm doing this year. Now check this out, this is what I've done in previous years.
Did you enjoy that? Yeah, if you've never drawn in buckets before and you're apprehensive, you can see what's possible. I've just shown you it. Hey, give it a go. Give it a go. If you're strapped for space, if all you've got is some small buckets, give it a go. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is Home Grown Bench, signing out.